Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Sharnice and welcome to Simply Niqua. So today I have another awesome, really good book for you guys. So I got a juicy book review for you guys again this week. And so if you're ready to hear what I gotta say about this lovely book, go ahead, sit back, relax, and continue watching. But if you're new here and if you haven't already, go down below and subscribe to my YouTube channel for more book reviews in the future because I read a lot and I get the chance to read new books and get these reviews out for you guys when they come out. So you get like a first impression, non-spoiler book review from me. And so if you really like that, go down below, subscribe to my channel, and also for everyone to like this video. So let's get started with this video. So the wonderful book that I'm going to tell you guys a little bit about and get you excited to read is the third book in the Love Game series. So if you have looked at my other videos, from the Love Game series, which I have read the other two books, you know how good these books are. So within the Love Game series, you start off with book number one, with Never Have You Ever, and then with book number two, Truth or Dare You. Then you end with this awesome book that is, comes out today called Two Truths and a Lime. So if, if this is your first time hearing about this series, go ahead and check out my other reviews so you can get a little feel of what these books are about because I give spoiler free book reviews. So you can just go check those out and start this whole series today. But but if you already have read all these books, you are in for a treat because I get to tell you about the last book in this Love Game series by Elizabeth Haley. Two amazing authors. Like I said, the third book is called Two Truths and a Lime, and I just love that title. And so let me tell you a little bit about this book specifically. In Two Truths and a Lime, you get to expand upon Drew and Sophia's story, um, like you have been going throughout this whole series, because the Love Game series is their story. Sophia got a, a marketing uh, internship at this wonderful firm, and she loves it there. And then Drew and Brody, from the second book, they started kind of like a business so in this book, they had a different business adventure they want to go on, and they wanted to see if they can really make their own business. With the other two books in the Love Game series, there's a lot of lies, and when lies build up, they all come out eventually, and which they all kind of came out in the last of the second book. And so you think this book is all clear of lies, but even the last book in the Two Truths and a Lime, there is a big, big lie that went on throughout the whole story, and you just have to pick this book up and to see the creative crazy lie that um, they all had to go along with. But this time, this lie kind of goes around just with Brody, Sophia's older brother. But they all kind of went along with it, they just had to, and um, it just worked out in the end for all of them. It really did. Sophia at her internship um, at that marketing firm, she had ups and downs with that. It definitely was a, a world awakening for her and it really turned out great in the outcome of that. Sophia also had issues mixed with what Brody and Drew's um, new kind of business adventure they want to do that as well. In Two Truths and Lime, you just really get a feeling of just loving all of these characters and love their story and you just want to keep reading to experience their life and experience what they're all going through. It's really Really good in that way and I was always excited to see Drew and Sophia's story but also even their friends and Brody's story as well that was continuing along with Drew and Sophia's love story. The ending of this book like gosh like I was so ready for this ending of this book like in a sense that I wanted to know how their story was going to end because it was such a good story throughout the other two books. I just want to see how their story ended and I just really enjoyed reading the end of their book. It just made me smile and made me feel happy all at the same time. The way and the words that Drew said to Sophia at the end made me just like heartfelt and just made me um have all these feelings and it's made me smile as well again and it was just really good ending and the words that Drew said was it was really amazing and really good to finish this book off to finish their story kind of in a sense like their story will still go on but the end of the true truths in a line and like their story as a whole uh, for the three books that we have right now it's really amazing you just like you have to pick up this book and read this ending especially if you've read the other two books because you don't want to miss the ending of this book you, you don't want to miss what Drew had to say to Sophia it was, it was a 
special a thing that I found interesting or I just maybe it's just me or something like I'm going to try to do a comparison with any book any love story book as an example Fifty Shades of Grey it was about Christian Grey and Anastasia Steele and it was about their story printed in this box of their story even though that Christian Grey and, and Anastasia's friends and family was in this book and introduced and talked and all of that and was part of the story as well but it was like only Anastasia and Christian's point of view and their and their in their story as a whole but I feel like in this whole series in the love game series that it was about Drew and Sophia of course it was their love game story but I also felt that it was about their friends and I also felt that it was Rory's story as well like even though it was just Drew and Sophia's story and then their point of view and their mind but it's also Brody's story as well so I thought that this love game series wasn't so much in that box of just Drew and Sophia that it branched out as well so I thought that was really cool to mention it was just something that I've seen when I was reading this whole series so two truths and a lime is out today it's available today pick this book up once you get done listening to my video you definitely don't want to miss out on this series it's, it's really a good book in two truths and a lime there's 30 chapters with no epilogue it's a good great thick book 30 chapters and it's in Drew and Sophia's mind and goes back and forth and I love that point of view of seeing both point of views and being able to be in both of their minds and feeling their emotions and knowing what's going on in both of their heads to get the full story I just love that you know this and I, I just really really enjoy the whole book and you really get like the full picture of everything so do I really recommend this book series recommend this book yes of course especially if you have read the other two books in this series you definitely should just read the last book in this series to really get the full picture of Drew and Sophia's story it's definitely something you don't want to miss out on and if you haven't read this series yet it's definitely a good book to pick up and a definitely a good series to pick up that will last you a while and it's really good it's really a good series to start out with reading from a new author and it's just really a really good book I really enjoyed reading every page every uh, word that I read throughout the chapters and it's just just it's really a good book so you guys definitely pick up this book today support Elizabeth Haley by picking this book up and reading this love game series it's, it's really good so I really appreciate if you do pick it up um, and if you are gonna think about picking this book up or if you like this book review go down below and subscribe to my YouTube channel and give this video a like. I have so many other book reviews to bring up for you guys in the future. So get ready, you guys. So thank you so much for listening to what I have to say about Two Truths and a Lime. Pick this book up today. It comes out today. And read your heart out with this series and with this book. So thank you so much for watching. And I'll catch you back next week with an awesome new video. Bye.